All right, welcome to another create your own hero guide. So look at this, I've got a glitched out lobby screen. I'm not sure why this happened, but it looks pretty cool. So in this episode, I'll be making the movie version of Flash, and that's the one with the metallic maroon armor. Not the comic book version, although I will show you how to do that as well. Now, unfortunately, as you can see here in the item shop, the build a hero skins are now gone. You cannot purchase them anymore, but I'm sure they will be back eventually. So for the Flash, we're going to be using Hunter right here, and he's the one that I also use to make Spider-Man, as you can still see. So first up here is the pattern, and we're going to go with the second one, which is called Victorious. For the head accessory, we're going to go to the second to last one, which is called Half Mask. For a face covering, we have none, and for a belt, we are keeping the belt on. Now for the second category, you want the metallic material, which is the second one from the left. And for a color, you want this one on the very bottom row, third from the bottom right. And it's this deep, dark crimson red. Moving on to the third category, again, you want the second material, which is called metallic. And again, you want the same color, the very bottom row, the crimson red one. Now on the fourth category, accessory, we want this color down here. It's right next to the one we've been picking, but just to the left. Right here is the one you want. That gives him the color for the belt. Now for the eye category, you want the eye effects off. And for eye color, normally I'd tell you to pick the X here because it makes the eyes the default color, like a brown. However, with this particular setup, if you select this, it just goes to white. So watch. So when I select white, it's the same as when I select the X. So unfortunately, you will have to have white eyes because the rest of them look kind of dumb. So you can't have the default brown ones for some reason. You have to go with white. Now, skin color is obviously the big white X, and hair is also the X. Now, as for the sticker, we all know that Flash should have that yellow lightning bolt. As far as I can see, we don't have that as a sticker, which is truly unfortunate. And by the way, I have to mention this in every one of these videos that I do, but you only get 48 stickers. And what determines the 48 that are displayed here are which ones you have favorited in your locker. So like I said, I went through all of them expecting to see a lightning bolt somewhere, and unfortunately, I just can't find one. How do we not have a gold or yellow lightning bolt? So there's a few that you can choose from. This one is actually my favorite, and it's called Ghost. So I'm going to favorite that one so that it shows up. Another good one that matches his color scheme, at least, is Bang, but it does have that revolver right there. Now this one's kind of close. It's almost like a lightning bolt. This one's the Championship 2020. You may have that. The other one you could do is right here, the checkered flag, but it doesn't really match his color scheme. But it is representative of someone going fast. So I favorited all of those, and as you can see, they're all displaying on the top row now. So here's what they look like. This is the checkered flag. Like I said, it doesn't really fit his color scheme, but it does represent speed. Then here's the one that does kind of represent his color scheme, but then there's that revolver there, so that's a little unfortunate. And here's the Championship 2020. That's not too bad. It's almost like a lightning bolt, except it's black. And then there's this one right here, Ghost. This is the one that I thought looked the best. Now, the one thing that truly makes this flash complete is the back bling. And what you want right here is the gold style for Lux's back bling, and it's called High Caliber right there so for a pickaxe there's one called victory lap but i don't actually possess it so i can't use that but i would say that's your best bet if you own the victory lap definitely use that one i don't know the crimson scythe might match the color that actually looks like it could flow i guess you could just design your own if you have this pickaxe right here let's see if we have the same color scheme we don't really have the maroon color that i selected though which is a bit unfortunate this is probably the closest color you've got and it doesn't quite match. I mean, it's almost there, but not quite. I wonder why it doesn't let you pick from the same colors as the skins. Because that color I picked is not here. What the heck? So I'm just going to go with the Crimson Scythe and see if that matches up. Now, you could do pretty much anything for a glider. I like Bombs Away. It kind of matches his color with the gold and red. Not too bad there. And for a wrap, I would go with Tony Stark's wrap, which is called Inventor's Choice. So there you go, that is the movie version of Flash. Now one thing you have to do with this skin is equip the full tilt emote. I hope you have this. If not, it's okay, but this is pretty sweet. This will get you your speed burst to let everyone know that you're the Flash. How awesome is that? I love it. So there you go, that is the movie version of Flash right there. We're gonna check him out in game. All right, let's get our full tilt going. Look at me, I'm the Flash. 
I can't tell if any of these are real players or if they're all just bots. What would you do if you saw this running by you? God, it's the Flash! I think Jack just got home from school, so I hope he comes in here and I can show him! Alright, so here we go. I'm going to land somewhere secluded so we can take a peek. So there's the glider. You can see how well it matches. It's got that dark red. And then the gold slash yellow. Hey, Jackie, look what I made. Tell me what character this is. Flash. How did you know that? <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Pretty sweet? You just made it? Yeah. Nice. Listen, I'm showing him off right now. Okay, so the lightning would work better if it was yellow. I thought it was yellow, but it doesn't really look yellow right here. That looks blue. It is. Uh -huh. So it's about to be nighttime. We're going to see what the color scheme looks like there. Oh yeah, he looks much better. Now it's fully nighttime. Look at that deep, dark maroon color. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, the pickaxe does go pretty nice. If only there was a little bit of gold on it. Or yellow. That'd make it ten times better. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. They're gonna pickaxe the helicopter, look! Get him, robots. He's probably gonna get him, robots. Wait, what the? Did he fall down? How many robots do I got left? Just one? Time to land a coup de grace. Not today, buddy! Not today! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know who's uh, mythic. Now we do the full tilt, Jackie. Oh, he's dancing with me. Yeah, I want you dance like this with you. Is that cool? Check on the flash. Boy, he had everything. I know, right? Get him, bot. Oh, Did he die? Yeah. Oh, he's got the LMG too. Oh, uh -oh. I got one of those too, buddy. You want me to die, Jackie? <laughs> I left bad. all that guy's loot, though. All right, so that's how you build Flash from the movies with his dark maroon suit. Now, if you want a light suit, all you have to do is change the material to spandex. And I think that, oh, it's the first one. So primary material is spandex. Secondary material is also spandex. And then do a lighter red, probably this one right here. Let's see. There you go, that turns it into the comic book variation of Flash. So it just depends on which one you like better personally. Like I said, I love the dark red slash maroon one. But if you like the comic book one, there you go. That's all you have to do, spandex and the lighter red color. And once you see that comic book version of red, then this one definitely looks more maroon. And by the way, this Flash combo was built by my good friend Rob, so credit for this design goes to him. I've seen a lot of people do the comic book version, and he was the first one to tell me about this one. So all credit for this awesome design 
goes to my good friend, Rob. If you want, you can follow him on Twitter in the comments section. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.